Now Mahomes. And he fires one, but incomplete. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. They'll run for it with Pacheco. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. Wow, first and goal, and defensively, all they can do is shake their heads. Not only did they allow the conversion, but a big play as well. Second quarter from KC. It's the Chiefs in possession of the football as they go to work on a first and goal. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. This is caught. Down at the two. Broke through first contact, but ultimately stopped shy of the goal line. From the two now, second and goal. To throw, it's Mahomes. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. They had a good chance to get the first points of the game on the board, but what a great job defensively getting a hand in there, knocking it away, and preventing that first touchdown. Here's Mahomes, third and goal. And that is caught. Touchdown, Kansas City. Marquez Valdez Scantling, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. This is caught on the right flank, and he gets in. But no one was expecting a fake there, but they add two more onto their lead. All right, we're talking new football here. We're talking new models, new paradigms, new ways of looking at things. They score, line up for the PAT, fake it, and go up eight to nothing. I, 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 I'm kind of at a loss here because if I'm going to go for two, I'm going to ask him to put the ball in the two yard of the offense. Exactly. Opening drive of the game, faking it is bold enough for the 15. That's quite another thing. I know a lot of people fall back on analytics, but still, I think that person would tell you, put your offense in and go from the two, not from the 15. Still got it, though. Yes, they did. Give them credit. Herbert on first down now. And his throw is incomplete. I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. Justin Herbert looking to pass. He finds his target, Allen. And out across midfield, down to the 45. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and 10. Actually gives him a chance to regroup. Relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. Now a second and ten. To the air again, Herbert. It's taken in by Quentin Johnston. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 23. A good pick up there, a 22. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. Setting up to throw on first down. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. 
An excellent play there, CD, on the pick six. And I, I think they, were they a nickel? Did they have an extra DB out there? Yeah, Brandon, I think they were in standard nickel, not the uh, Buffalo, as teams like to call it, meaning three safeties for big nickel. They just wanted to take away the quarterback's throwing lanes, and that's exactly what they did. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. This is caught on the right flank, and he gets in. But no one was expecting a fake there, but they add two more onto their lead. All right, partner, one more time. Our whole lives, you put the ball on the three-yard line, kick the extra point. 2015, they put it on the 15 to kick the extra point. 2016, they said, we're leaving it there. So if you want to fake it, that's a long way to go. And they got it done. I was going to say, they had a 15-yard play in their back pocket. <laughs> you don't see that in too many play sheets, do you? No. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. The Chargers are going to take over now late in this first half. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. 35 seconds, all that remains in the first half as they come up on first down. Fresh off of six the other way, it's Herbert. And that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. That was not a real confident throw right there. He's just 2 of 7 to start the game. Now he's going to have to find a groove with a big third down coming up. Let's we'll see if his confidence can increase. This time they stay on the ground. And a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 32. It'll be a gain of seven, but I'd imagine we'll see the punt team here on fourth down. On is the punter Scott here as he gets this one away. On the return, it's James. So we've hit halftime and what was obviously. All right, so we skip the rest of halftime and get set for the third quarter. The Chargers going to get the football first here in this second half and they trail as we get back underway. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. By no means certainly are they out of this contest. Two-score game start of the third quarter. But you feel like if they don't get points and then they give up points, then it can become a slippery slope. This feels like an important possession. Yeah, and that slope becomes even more slick if you come away empty-handed on this drive because then you give them a chance to extend their lead. You need some kind of points here, even if it's just a field goal. It's what I call one of those calming drives, trying to slow things down a little bit. On first and ten, Herbert. Throws left side, complete to Keenan Allen. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Well, this offense is wasting no time getting into the flow of the game. They've come out throwing. Two quick completions have this defense on their heels as they're already across midfield and driving. And they run the option here on first and 10. And he'll take it inside the 40 to the 39-yard line. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. But anytime you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expected to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Well, they still have time to get him established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play. 
We're back now in KC. It's Charger football, but they trail here as we get going in quarter number four. Here's Herbert. And the Chiefs are going to get him. Got to avoid the flags defensively. Here's fourth and long. They snap it to Herbert. Right side, he has Johnston. And unable to break away. They stop him a few yards shy. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Chiefs defense comes up with a stop. they got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. A run by Pacheco on second down. And past the 30, down to about the 27. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down. And that's the run that should seal the victory. But when you're up by two scores in the fourth quarter and you're going to throw the football, expect to see a lot of man coverage because usually what comes along with man coverage is pressure. So if you're a play caller and you want to keep throwing the football, and he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco, a 12-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. And they fake it. They pitch to the tight end. And he is not going to get to the goal line. And for the first time here this afternoon, they are thwarted on the two-point conversion. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. So out come the Chargers. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, we've seen a lot of NFL games and we've seen our share of lopsided contests, but in almost all of them, both offenses have put up at least 200 yards in a game, but not in this one. This has been a display of offense that frankly, I think the two of us have watched from behind our hands, trying to spread our fingers wide enough to actually see the result. Justin Herbert looking to throw on second down. Under pressure, and down he goes. Kind of surprised they accept the penalty. The only thing that comes to mind for me is they want to move them back five yards because they feel good about their defense. But in most situations, you take the down. <laughs> that's, that's what counts more. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Well, that play was certainly a little bit different because on the previous play, he was sacked. This time, protection a lot better. Had time to survey the field and still couldn't find an open receiver. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. Here's James returning. 43-yard punt, but they get nine back on the return. And control of the football, switching hands here with very little time remaining in this contest. The Chiefs in good position to start out as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. Give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. So this one in the win column for Kansas City. And this was truly a total team effort, Charles, on both sides of the ball. But they absolutely pitched a shot out, so it can't get much better than that, right? The defense led the way. 
but the offense did their part as well. They moved the ball up and down the field. So you've got to like what you saw. What